this project I'm so, sort of excited about, and that's replacing the windshield washer bottle, which this is the old one. You can see it's in the, the original, it's not in pretty shape, but it might be in good shape. Here's the, the actual original bracket for it. I want to replace this thing. I don't want to put in a brand new style bottle. And they actually sell a replacement for about a hundred bucks on eBay. You can get one, including the special top, which has the built-in pump. And it looks almost exactly like this. But I want to see if I can restore this one. After all, it's just a bottle. It's a bit dirty. And um, this pump, I'm going to bench test it. Just put hook up 12 volts to it and see if I can get it to run. If not, I'm going to replace the pump itself. There's no nozzle. There's no washer nozzle here at all. So I'm going to have to run a washer nozzle through the dash. Well, the nozzle attaches from the inside of the dash and then hook up the hose, bring it underneath and out, out these holes for both sides. And it looks like there's a spot on the other side as well. Bring it out and then run the line into where the washer bottle goes. Well, here's the old washer bottle. And the first thing I'm going to do is test it to see if the motor works. So I saved these, um, these old chargers and uh, AC adapters. This particular one's 9 volt. But I tested it with just with a, a battery a voltage tester, and it's like 11 volts, which is pretty good. So I can use it to test anything that I'm going to put in my car, which requires 12 volts, because this is so close. I'm just going to plug it in and hook it up to the leads, which I've cleaned them off a little, a little steel wool on the two leads for the motor and let's see if this old pump works so I just hook them up here and you can see I'm not getting anything no movement at all the pump is silent so now to clean the bottom part of this the washer bottle I want to get, want you to get a good look at what it looks like I don't want to do any damage to it inside is actually quite moldy. You can see that. So I have an arsenal, arsenal of products here. I'm going to use soft scrub, a little 409, possibly Comet, hopefully not. And I have some different brushes that I can use on it. So I'm actually going to start with this soft scrub which is supposed to be pretty mild. So let's do that. This is wire. I think it's good because we took off the first outer layer of dirt. There's a little more to go on it. I'm going to continue using the same technique. And let me fill it up first. This, pro this thing hasn't had water in it, who knows in how many years. Let's just do that. I was able to get a replacement top for the water container. It fits okay. It's not a perfect fit. But um, now I can put the whole thing put the whole thing back in nicely where it belongs. 
and there we go. And my next, that's where it's going to go. And then uh, next, next stage, next stage is to uh, do the the um, tubing and run the tubing through the uh, engine bay from the top. Okay, so this this part is pretty easy to remove. You just need to bend it down, just like that. I'm just bending, just bending that part of the dash down, and we need to locate the hole for the nozzle is right here. So I'm just going to put the nozzle through on both sides and tighten it up. And the nozzle goes right in here. Okay. You can see the nozzle is now screwed in. I'm going to have to adjust it later. I don't know if you can see the sprayer here. There you go. And I'm just going to adjust it where I want the sprayer to go, where I think that's best. And then tighten it up. You can see the brass nut now attached. And I'm just going to tighten that up. And then that's where the, the plastic hose is going to go. So that hose will go right on the end, right there. And while I have it off... I'm just going to shoot some WD-40 into the wiper mechanism to loosen it up and lubricate it as well. I've run the tubing along the windshield wiper cable and I created a T-joint right here and that's my T-fitting right here which I'm going to put behind this top part of the dash and the tubing is going to run down here and through this hole which you can actually see and this hole goes right into the engine bay and then I will run the tubing into there and around to the washer from inside down along the firewall using cable ties to secure it to the uh, electrical loom in certain places. You can see it's run under here. And the tubing comes behind everything and then up and it's out here. And I'm, before I attach it to the pump, which it's going to go on this valve right here. I need to um, use a check valve. And this is the check valve here. And fortunately, this check valve, let's see if we can get it focused, has a little arrow on it. Which I don't know if you could see it. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, so there's a little arrow on the check valve, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on there in the right direction, away where the water flow is away from the pump. I just need to hook up the electrical, and we should be all set. So that's going to be the next part of this project. So here is, here is the arrangement. The new top on the water bottle with the built-in pump and I ran a ground wire right here to the frame and put a fuse in there and then this wire here is the hot wire 
positive which I ran along the washer. This is the tubing which runs along over there and then it goes to the firewall. Um, I basically, you can see, I basically used um, plastic cable ties to attach the wire and the tubing to, to, to themselves and to some of the other wiring just to support it. And then it runs in there through the firewall. So that's all hooked up now. And then you can see, hold on, now you can see how the nozzle is attached. And we'll run a test. So I had to install a washer switch. So it's a two-speed, it's basically a two-speed wiper switch. And um, when you push it, the washer activates. So uh, let's see how it works. I'm just going to put on. So just powering it up. And speed one. Speed two, and then the washer. You can see the washer there. So, so basically, that's it. Wiper motor and the washer work fine, and um, it looks like um, I was able to do it.